Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Tashawn here and I'm back with another video. And this one is an L3 Waxy Wonders haul. I had placed this order on July 29th and I received it on August 8th. So this order was only placed because <laughs> Jennifer had did a post and she asked for hybrid scent loaf requests. So I was like, oh, okay, well let me just throw in my little you know my little request i think i put in like a couple of requests um you know of what i thought would be great together in terms of scents for a hybrid loaf and um i um you know put my my suggestions in and you know didn't think anything of it however when she posted the list for the um hybrids one of my blends made the list. And I was like, yay, I'm so excited. And then I was like, oh man, now I have to place an order. <laughs> so this is what this order is. And of course, my friend Jay also put in some scent suggestions as well. And one of his scent suggestions made it to the list too. So I also had to um, get his blend, um, you know, along with my blend as well. So that is what i have here today if my if we wouldn't have never made the list we probably wouldn't have made an order because we're trying to really be mindful of our wax purchases um however it was like we can't not order you know our stuff made the list we have to order now so we got a kick out of that um because we were very surprised so thank you jennifer um, so much, you know, it's really nice when you have a vendor who includes the customers in the blending process and she's, you know, a lot of the vendors will put out there, you know, give me your suggestions. What do you want to see? And, um, I will say that with Jennifer, um, she is continually selecting the customer's blends, adding them to the, um, to the, you know, uh, next restocks. Sometimes she adds them as house blends. They're so good, you know, so um, it's really nice to be a part of that process and, and feel like, oh my gosh, you know, my baby made the list. And, you know, it also feels good if other people get it and they be like, oh my God, this is great. You know, not everyone's going to like everything, which is understandable, but it's just nice overall to be able to see something that you thought of make the list and, you know, um, be something that can be part of a restock or, you know, even a pre-order in terms of like, what do you want to see for a pre-order suggestion? So thanks again, Jennifer. I do appreciate it. I'm very, very excited. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, we have an airhead, which, you know, of course my daughter will be taking this and we have three sam. Oh wait, before the samples. So we have this sticker here. It says, it does not matter how slowly you go. So, so long as you do not stop. And this is a great, great quote. And this is by Confucius. Love that. I will be putting that on one of my loaves. Then we have our sample here. Rosemary Mint, which I love and blends and on its own. Very fresh mint. Oh, this is so good. It's like that mint leaf. Like you muddle the, the rosemary in the mint leaf in a, um, what is that? Mortal and pestle, right? Mmm, it smells so good. It's so fresh. I need to get this in a loaf on its own because I really, really do enjoy this blend um, on its own. And that's what that looks like. I do have the rosemary mint sampler, which I... Was very excited to get that. I haven't melted anything from that. Maybe I'll put something from that on today, but um, I love rosemary mint. Then we have a vanilla butter fudge pretzel, and that's pretty self explanatory. Mmm, you get that saltiness from the pretzel. Vanilla y, buttery, fudgy. This is delicious. Mmm, it smells so good. I love pretzel blends. Nice and salty. Then 
Then we have Palo Santo buttermilk pie. I have this in a bitty loaf. Um, and I like it just smells so good. And uh buttermilk pie is um vanilla custard, sugar cookie, creme brulee, and pie crust. A delicious bakery blend. And with that, Palo Santo is so good. It's like cozy, buttery. Like with the buttermilk pie, I just get all that buttery goodness. And like that vanilla E is just so good. And of course, Palo Santo is just a warm, inviting, just cozy. Ah, so good. And that's what that looks like. So let's move on to the loaves. So I got two of each. Um, so we're going to go over Jay's loaf first. And this one is North by Northwest and Overlook Hotel. And North by Northwest is cider donuts type and cran apple cider. And then Overlook Hotel is uh, cider lane, toasted mar marshmallows, and smoky fireside. So let's take these, this puppy out. So as you can see, Jay went went with more of a fall um, blend, and I went with more of a summery, uh, tropical <laughs> blend. Mmm, <laughs> that smells so good. Oh, that cran apple cider and that cider donut on top. Oh, it smells delicious. And then on the bottom, you get like that um, toasted marshmallow, that smokiness from the fireside and the cider lane. This is a true fall blend that I will melt any time of the year. Oh, this is so good. I love this. Jay, this came out so well. And that's the layer. So you got a pink on the bottom and then the top. So North by Northwest is on the top. And Overlook Hotel is on the bottom. Look how pretty that is. Going to make for beautiful wax um, poles. So that one smells amazing. Very fall. I, I love I love fall blends. Um, when I started in the wax world, I was heavy into bakery. Um, but I have since then branched out, and I'm kind of I kind of like push bakery to the side, and I'm more fresh, earthy, um, masculine sense now. But I do enjoy. Bakery still, I do enjoy enjoy a good fall blend, and this is a really good one. So I'm so happy that I got two loaves. So now I'm going to go over my blend. So this one is clothespins and Caribbean Escape. Um, Caribbean Escape is tropical melon, raspberry, and coconut. So I wanted to, and clothespins is a laundry scent. Um, I love clothespins. I love any laundry blend, but um, clothespins is one of one of the more favorite um, laundry blends of mine. Oh, it smells so good. So you get the clothespins on top, which is just that very strong, it's a strong oil. <laughs> it's a very strong, um, it, to me, this gives me, you have, you, you've done your laundry, you wash the wash, and you're hanging it outside on the line to dry. So it's like blowing in the wind, the sun is out, and you just get that nice, um, the breeze in that laundry scent um, of your clothes drying on the line. Oh, that smells so good. And then on the bottom, mm, Caribbean Escape. So 
you get that those tropical vibes I get the coconut first and then I'm getting a little bit of melon in the raspberry but this is delicious so it's like um, fresh clean on the top and like tropical on the bottom so I can't wait to blend this or melt this in the warmer um, it's just a beautiful tropical laundry scent mmm and that's so pretty blue and white love it oh so good I just keep smelling it like <sighs> it's just think of like you have a house on the beach and you cleaned you did the wash you got the you know laundry hanging up and now you're sitting um outside in your hammock just enjoying the the warmth of the day um and the breeze and then as you're just sitting in your hammock you may have like an ice cold drink um maybe like a tropical um frozen drink you know non-alcohol you know because it's, it's still kind of may still kind of be a little bit early um and you're just sitting on a hammock and just relaxing you might have a good book that you're reading and as you're out there and that wind blows you're getting the whiffs of your laundry that you just hung up and that's drying on the line and all those tropical notes of being like on a tropical island having a tropical island beach house <laughs> and so mm, it, i love how wax can just like transport you to a different place different time different era um i love it like i love the memories the memories that it give you, um, like stories that it could tell, you know, um, feelings that it get, like wax is just such a happy vibe. Um, it's just one of those things like wax just makes me happy. Like when I'm melting, I'm like, oh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh. You know, um, and I like, I get, I feel so, like you could wake up and be like, Ugh, you know, but as soon as I put that wax in the warmer, I'm like, Oh, okay. That smells good. Let me get the day started. You know, um, so, and it, I get to appreciate it more when I work from home. So when I have to go into the office, uh, two to three times a week, depending on the schedule, I, you know, I try to get up and put my wax on in the morning and, you know, I get to enjoy a little bit before I have to leave out to go to work, but wax just makes me happy. Um, and I enjoy it. It's a fun hobby. And, um, I'm very excited for these blends, so I cannot wait to start melting them. So I might have to do a chopping video soon so I could chop one of these loaves of mine and chop one of Jay's. But I can't wait um, for sure, like, um, now that it's, you know, starting to, it'll be transitioning soon to, you know, the fall. Um, Jay's blend is going to be a, a fantastic blend to melt. But like I said, I melt any time of the year. I am not a seasonal melter. I am a mood melter. So whatever I'm in the mood for, that's what I melt. So that's the beauty of it. Um, I'm, I'm kind of glad that I'm not a seasonal melter because I feel like, you know, there are scents that just doesn't fit just a particular season. There are scents that you can melt all year long and they smell great. So I'm about that life, you know, of melting whatever I want all year long. I enjoy it. And it also helps me to get through my wax faster because I'm not waiting for a particular season or season to melt it. So I love that um, about not being a seasonal melter for me. So that was it, guys. Um, like I said, this haul was a very small haul. I, you know, placed this order because... My blend made the the list for the hybrid loaves. I'm very, very grateful for that. If any of you guys did get um, Clothespin Caribbean Escape, let me know what you think um, in the comments. You know, uh, let me know if you enjoy it or if you um, maybe would have did something differently with it. I am, you know, I, I take criticism, constructive feedback, constructive criticism. 
Um, you know, not every, like like I said, not everybody's gonna like everything, and that's okay. So you may get it and be like, oh no, I, I don't like that. I would have I would have blended it with this, you know, instead. So, but if you did get it, let me know your thoughts in the comments. Um, you know, uh, let me know if you got Jay's blend, what you think of that, if you did get that as well in the comments too. And then if you guys got anything different, um, if any of your blends made it, let me know what those were. Um, you know, if, if they did make it in, I do see that there are still hybrid lows on the website. So, um, you know, if you still, if you didn't place an order and you still want to, you know, the opportunity to, there are still, you know, some blends there. I'm not exactly sure what blends is there, but I do see that the section is still there. They're not sold out um, in terms of like the whole, hy whole hybrid loaf section. There's still some there. So definitely check it out. Um, so that's it, guys. I'm going to end this video here. If you made it to the end, I do appreciate each and every one of you. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell notification so that you are made aware of when I upload my next video and I will catch you guys in the next one. Take care guys. Bye.